Hi everyone, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets and today I'm going to review the Joby Griptite 1 GP Magnetic Impulse Tripod and I've got to say this is a really good tripod I've used it an awful lot I'm going to show you lots of stuff I've done with it and what else you can use and how versatile this is for the sort of mobile professional so turning this around um, it is magnetic so it shows you here magnetic it shows you how neat and tidy and small the whole thing fits together it's also got bluetooth and has a, a little piece that you can trigger the shutter from and all in all it works really well it fits mobile phones and it shows you on the side the maximum width and as a comparison that's my iphone with a really heavy duty speaking case on and there's still plenty of room to go on that they also do a very sort of more basic version uh, which is just literally the tripod with the phone mounts um, but it is the magnetic one that I absolutely adore I've unboxed it, taken apart, been using it for ages so I'm now going to show you how this all works and go through the products in a lot more detail so first of all let's take around what you get in the box you get the tripod itself and these are magnetic ends the spends and they twist and they lock and if you've used Joby products before, as I have, I've got the very large Gorilla Pods. It literally, you can tie it around <laughs> pretty much anything. You've got a, a very stiff ball up here and locking, me 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 locking mechanism. And then you've got this piece, which is really clever again. So let me take that off a second. So first, what you have is this is the actual um, piece that you put your phone in. And it works really, really well. So what you can do is you can take your phone, and this is my iPhone here, and you just put it around there, no problem at all. And it is very easy to do, and it fits most phones. It does have these lovely rubber pads here and here, and there's a tripod screw. But what you'll notice is that you can use this bit here to perhaps put a key ring, to have this on your key ring, and or you also have a slider so this piece here clips over the actual where are we let's try around as it go like so and then you can slide this piece on for storage so you've got everything all together and you've got a little key ring so you can keep that separate as well the whole thing is very very versatile or you just leave it on so you can have this piece connected and still use this in fact what you would do is you would connect that around uh, take that off just to show you you don't want it loose that's why it has a little bit of resistance which is good you actually would want it around this way like so and then you put that on then you can have your phone in there with this piece and all this all on so you don't lose anything and it does work very well now what i'm going to show you take that off is how you connect this. So very simply, this goes on like so. No problem at all. And opens up. You have your phone go in here, like so. Now, I've connected this to a number of various um, different things. I'll show you some photos in a second. Um, I've used it with my iPhone 7 Plus or my car. Um, I've used it with um, my gear 360 it's no problem you can also don't even need to use this part here you can just take something like your um, camera if you've got a little portable camera and you'll see that there's no issue holding you know the cameras like so um, this is an rx100 so you can do that no problem at all but what you can do is you can use it to take photos so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on just to show you. So you push and hold, red light comes on, and that will connect. I'm just going to just, just show you. I'll go to Bluetooth, and there it says, sorry, uh, Joby shutter connected. So what that means, we can do the following we can if I hold that up so remember this, this is on a tripod and I've got the button here and I press 
and you just saw that look again and it's taken the photo so you've got a lot of versatility in this product it does an awful lot um, i like you know the fact that this so if i put let's put this um all back together give you an idea so you can have this in your pocket that goes on like so you could have this connected have it always just flip that around and we'll like so just tighten it up again there we go so you can actually have this there's my finger to give you an idea my hand that fits in your hand I can keep this in a trouser pocket, jeans pocket, shirt, uh, not well, shirt pocket, just about, um, suit, jacket, anything. And it's great little portable um, devices. The magnetic style, as you can see from the photos I showed you, you know, on the car, is, is really, really powerful. Um, these things are, you know, if you heard that, you know, I just put these on properly. You know, once they're on, but I'm shaking this. You know, it will eventually come off um, but if you've got them on this is not ideal because you see it's not quite flat um, but if I haven't got them spaced out properly but if you have them on a magnetic, magnetic surface that like I had it on my car um, I'll show you the picture again it does work really well so this anyway this is the Joby Grip Type 1 GP Magnetic Impulse I'll leave some links below if you're interested in it I think it's a great product I love my photography and I love this product it's one of the best I've seen and this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets catch you guys soon bye for now